So there we got some new stuff since the last one. Oh, I love it. It's beautiful. <clears throat> Gorgeous. You look great. You're doing amazing, sweetie. Where does the tongue come from? The inside the body? Physically, I mean. Yeah. Well, hey, we get a closer look. It's made in heaven. A lot of people are pointing that out in the comments. Thank you. Oh, that's the old one. That's the original design. That's not the one she has right now. Made in heaven to the left. That's oh, the that one. one. Yeah. yeah. I thought you meant that one. Well, we can uh, always believe. Well, yeah, but the, the original one is like, angel, and this one's like, made in heaven, devil horns. I think we can unlock this. We, we can play in this. Ooh. That's cool. Pew. Pew. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yes. Heck yes! <laughs> Whoa! How do I make that? These are. Are these bonuses? Yeah. So can I, can this be what I'm playing in, or? It doesn't seem to give an option to like select it though. Or it just says models. So. Yeah, but I unlock these. Yeah. Give them to me. I think I want to do the noir. Should we do the noir one or the well? How can, can you Rambo select one? How do you? I don't know. I'll continue. Three. Wait. Two, go to costumes. <gasps> You're right. Unlocked outfit. Oh, just the normal ones. It's just. Yeah. What? <sighs> Whatever. On continue. Three, two, one. Determined to get out alive, Claire runs quickly through the police station's basement, only to come across a scared little girl. As she reaches out to the child... Something happens. We'll never know. <laughs> I used to have an alligator head like this when I was a kid, but it was really small. My dad gave it to me. Thanks, Dad. Farley's believing in my alligator dreams. Might want to put some stuff away. I wonder if what two high grade gunpowders to do would do. What does that make? I'm sure, we can make a bomb with that or something. With the box. Submachine gun ammo. Nice. Patting them into the mic. Unless people want that. Puppy ASMR pats? Let us know. Let's see. Do I have do I need anything else or am I good? I have the I only have one thing. AJ, I'm gonna need you to be cool, okay? No. <sighs> now what do we do? That's a heart one, so that's a no. Beautiful art. Okay. Is there anything else we can take in here? Oh. Some more submachine gun bullets, but we don't have a submachine gun, so let's put that away. Thankfully, we have this magical storage thing. This magic box. Always good to have a magic box. I know that you're referring to your vagina. Stacy loves referring to her vagina as a box. <laughs> Mari, how do you know that? Listen, just... <laughs> she just walks in the kitchen. Guess what? <laughs> Ooh. Uh... This looks like a puzzle? And it's missing no, well, some parts. No, so we... Yeah, it looks like... We we'll probably need something to... To do some, yet. some component. I'm sure there's that... two components missing that we need to use. So keep your eye out. Okay. Oh, 
This douchebag has a dodo. They were really this big? Man. Wow. Big birds. I didn't realize dodos were that big. <gasps> a key! Oh, a part of a key. Oh. Aha! Aha! Ooh. From your description regarding the electronic lock on the door in the police chief's office, it sounds like something needs replacing. You will need some power panel parts to fix the issue. Unfortunately, a repairman from one of our stores is at the station to repair the bell in the clock tower. We sent a few spare parts with him, and he reported that he left one in the third floor east storage room. If something goes wrong or you need more than one, please don't hesitate to seek him out in the clock tower. We look forward to serving you again. So it seems like we can find one in the storage room and then probably on a zombie. Yeah. <laughs> in the clock tower. I know. Excuse me, do you have... I'm sorry, I'm looking for a zombie with a utility belt. <laughs> Are any of you zombies former repairmen? Hello? <laughs> Hello. Dude, what if all these this things came- This office is just like- You know, it'd be kind of cool if the T-Virus- I know these are taxidermied, so it probably wouldn't happen, but like, if some zombie shit got onto these and they turned into zombies? Yeah, That'd well, be kind of wild. They don't have brains, that's why. Yeah. But this still be wild and cool. Actually, Mari. Actually, it's gotta be. Yeah, I'm gonna put some stuff away. Let's put this away because it's too powerful. What do we? For yeah, what do we right need? Now. All that Roji Biv herb. <laughs> Let's see. Do we have any healing potions? No. So we're just going in raw. Well, I think the. Just hit it with your knife, maybe? Or, <sighs> or yeah. I'm waiting for some zombie to plop out of nowhere. Up or down? Down. She chose down! <laughs> I really wanted you to say that so I could say I it. I know. <laughs> uh, where is everyone getting all this barbed wire from? Ugh. Oh, hi. I don't have to deal with you for a while. Mm -hmm. I really like the zombie designs in this. They feel intense. Does that make sense? Ooh. Let me out. <gasps> Something bad happened here. Yeah. I wonder if this camera shows anything? No. Can't read that. <laughs> oh, maybe the shit went down. Ooh. <gasps> it's yeah. a magic box. And it, we can use that with the gem, remember? Oh, yeah. Maybe a, a perp was stuck in here. <gasps> <gasps> us if we don't move. Yeah. What do we do? Uh, I mean, you could shoot it with fire and kill it. Just, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Well, uh, uh, all right. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Uh, I like I like how you were right in the middle of explaining what was about to happen. Yeah. I was like, this can't be good. Oh, this guy also pooped his pants. The, I love that detail. They're yeah. like, people poop their pants. What is this? Uh, August 14th, 1998, RPD 2F waiting room. Reason for confiscation, a suspicious man was found at the location listed above. When confronted by an officer, he tried to escape by acting confused, but was arrested. A note we had on him was confiscated. Remarks. It's 
It's not like everyone doesn't know who it is, but it's Justin Hansen, age 39, city resident, single, and a regular fixture in our jail. He wasn't a bad guy per se, just a bit of a brain, bird brain kleptomaniac. He can't believe he tried to pull a fast one in a police station of all places, though. There's a scrap of paper in a plastic bag. 6 to 11. So that must be to a, a vault a thingy. Vault somewhere. Go back. Uh, <sighs> can I just like relock it? <laughs> AJ. <laughs> I like it. Just like. Ah! Okay, we're out of fire thing, so. That's that. <laughs> You just calm down, sir. Okay, AJ. I know you're excited. He just keeps trying to lick my face. Hey, you're the one who wanted to do the thing. I guess we'll store this for now because I don't have any ammo. Yeah, but... that makes sense. What's in there? Star's badge. Okay. Um, I guess we could store that for now. Or, I don't know what we use it for. If we, like, keep it on us and... I mean, we must need to use it for something, yeah. right? Oh, someone said that if there's a red check mark next to something, you don't need it anymore, so... Oh, that's so handy. What does the box do? What's in the box? Right, it doesn't combine with anything, so we'll store it. Maybe we have to stick the badge and we need it to like open a door or something. I feel like so many small little contraptions make a lot of differences. What was over here? Oh, just a That's key. That's the all the Just water, girl. Your hair will not mess up. It's fine. Ooh. What was that? Blue herb? It's, it's lavender. No, it is blue herb, but... I like how people just accept that there's elaborate puzzles for everything, and they respect the puzzle. They don't try to just pry it off. They're like, no, somebody put effort into this. Mm -hmm. What is this? I don't want to touch it until I know what's going on. Oh, bullets. Okay. I have a feeling that if I touch this, something bad's gonna happen. It sure seems like it, doesn't it? Oh, looks like I need a part to fix this, maybe? And then that will turn off. Oh! See, there's a fire right here. I think if we find a part to fix this... Oh, we could maybe... Put the fire out. Yeah. So we can go down here or we can go over here. So let's go over here first. Seems like. <clears throat> ah. So this is blocked and it block. Oh, this takes us back to the main area. Okay, cool. We'll probably have to go back. And, uh. At some point. And that gives us a chance to get all the stuff we missed, which was giving me anxiety. Yeah, I think it's also fair. I think that it. I wonder. I. Obviously. I'm gonna, <laughs> this guy's very rude. It's. I 
wish I could make the. Oh, hello? Is that you? Or. Who's that? Hello? Anybody? Okay. Ooh. Oh. Is that. Yep. Oh, yeah. You're just gonna come Bitch. right back up, aren't you? And that's why you always carry way too carry way too many bullets. I love it. It just says left or right. How is that helpful? Excuse me. what that does oh which pipe oh. oh so you don't have to fix it you just have to switch the pipe so now when we do the other thing it'll do the thing i think so yeah because they're or we'll we'll see what happens yeah because see how one of them is still intact yeah do the thing claire <gasps> yeah. okay cool oh so now we've opened up a path. That's great. And we can go back and probably kill our friend who's a zombie now. Yay. I think one I'm sure of those there things. Were, uh. Jesus, stay back. What? I don't know. Is uh, he friendly? He's wearing a. I don't know, think he's wearing so. a cool hat. So oh no! Stacy, I can do this. Just, just uh. <laughs> I mean, he was wearing a hat, so I mean. Oh, I can hear him coming. <laughs> Can he get us in here? I don't know. I would just... <laughs> what is that? Is he bad? He seems kind of nice. Mm, he's bad. How, how do you know? Uh, cuz I just do. You don't get a good feeling from this guy? You don't like his energy? I'm pretty sure he was a, a villain in either the original or one of the other games. I just... Taxidermy law. I'm getting tired of working with these puny things. Maybe a time to move on to more challenging animals. It nearly came when I sliced its yellow belly oh, open. No. And its warm guts spilled out. It smelled of wild beasts. This is the life. He had an orgasm. That's gross. The specimen's body is soft, sweet, and white all over. It's all mine forever. That's a person. Oh, pig. Okay. Yeah. No, 22 years old. He killed a person. Yeah? Yeah. Five foot three, 110 oh, wait, pounds, 22 years old. Oh, wait, go back old. and look at the other ones. No, so he went from deer to tiger to person. Yeah. Well, because... That's a person. Yeah. You killed a person. How long do pigs live? Nah, well, I mean, I'm sure maybe they can live to 22, but I'm pretty sure this is a person. Pretty sure five, five, five three, hundred ten pounds. pounds. Soft, sweet, and white all over. It's all mine forever. That dude, he, he killed a person. Yeah. I'm just going to quickly Google how long pigs live because I'm curious. Uh, yeah, pig lifespan is like eight years, so that's 100% a person. Or someone's very beloved pig. What do we do? Like, how do I... And there was nowhere to go in that back area? I think I need to get past him or something.
Hold on, so th in that back, that is, is that just a dead end back there? Where? Back there. Here? Yeah. Yeah. This is where we came from. I think we need to come back around. Because otherwise, like, what's the point of going mm. all the way back? So I think we need to just sneak past him or something, or maybe well, die. But, but wait, to go in that direction, we would just go in a circle. Of... We probably, that's probably what we need to do. We probably but why wouldn't to... we just go in a circle the other way? Are you, I, I think what we need to do is sneak past this guy. Okay. Into the thing. Where are we? Hey, there's a gear over there. Nice. No, hold on. Let me kill this dude real quick. Yeah. make it back to our dude. Uh, yeah. This probably needs to be murdered. So, uh... Yeah, so brace yourself. Oh, there he is. Oh. Oh, God, no. Marvin. I'm sorry. We can use this thing to... Hold on. He's still coming! How do I open this again? Because... Oh, shit. He's still coming. What do I do about this guy? Marvin? No! The big guy! Oh! He's just following us everywhere! Oh, no. Like, I don't know what to do about this guy. Bears all the time. Oh. oh dear, oh dear. Oh. <laughs> Maybe I can make those two fight. Yeah, right? 
probably just have to set him on fire to temporarily keep him dead. Totally boned right now. Yeah. Move it. Guess a headshot gets them. Hmm. Oh wait, somebody in the comments said, "Oh, you can stun it by setting it on fire and hitting it in the head." And I was like, "What are you talking about?" Were they talking about the liquor, or were they talking about him? I don't know, to be honest. I know that with the liquors, oh. it's fire. How? My question is. This is a parking garage. How is he stepping loud enough to make noise in a parking garage? It's a concrete parking garage. Thank God he is. It said that with enough ammo, you can bring him down. To kill him or just what? To, I... You can kill him, but... It's a lot of ammo. Yeah. I'd like to kill him. <laughs> just so I don't have to worry about him anymore. Hmm. There it is. Thank God. A key card. So it said it was in like the clock tower and some random place. Uh, yeah. Great. What did that letter say? Repair shop letter. East storage room and in the clock tower. So. Box electronic part. We got a knife. Two knives. I don't know what that does, but it's probably some sort of achievement. <sighs> the wrong way. So where's the clock tower? Here we let's see. I want to go back to somewhere safe before we yeah. just pause for a second. Well, let, let's bring the box electronic part over to the thing. And see if it doesn't. Yeah, you're right. Do we need two? Yeah, we need two. I think if we make a lot of noise, you can kind of hear us running around. Mm-hmm. had to open it. Ah. Of course. Oh, it's like, how'd he get in uh. here? <laughs> now we need to find the clock tower. Good 
good thing this game's so direct and not confusing. <laughs> Finally! There it is. So now we gotta go to the library. Anything good in here? Whew. Hmm. Doesn't look like it. I mean, aside from that one part. Wait, He's done, so we can just discard it. Yes. <sighs> I hear you, and I understand your complaints, but we need to. I need to keep doing my job, okay? just gone to the library on the first floor, right? No. No? Oh, yeah. Forgot that it's not. <laughs> this guy looks like he's running after you being like, but I'm a nice guy. <laughs> Does she have something on her that I need or whatever? Your oh, knife. Just my knife. Your knife. <sighs> so my goal every time we record this, since we're using cameras, is to wear a different skull shirt. Over here. If he's somehow up here, I'm gonna be pissed. I'm gonna be like, Push. how? It's making the noise. He's behind us. We gotta go. Yeah. <laughs> Location, police station, west side clock tower. Due to the high cultural value of the <clears throat> bell, I'm calling a specialist in to make the repairs. We'll go over the details once they're on the scene, but in the meantime, I'll take steps to secure the bell since the yoke is threatening to break. there man well I don't do we we already cranked down the, uh, the stairs. stairs wherever those were I don't know where the stairs were <laughs> were they in that main clock area like when we first walked in this Hold on. Right there. Oh my 
god, we're gonna have to be loud. What? So, oh, a small gear. Okay. And that's gonna make the bell ring, I guess? Ugh. Or something. I don't know. I don't know what that's... Oh, we need to switch it. Okay, I get it. We need to get that bigger gear from downstairs and then put it in here so we can ring the bell, I think. That's my... Or wasn't there that spot downstairs that we just looked at, too? Mm hmm <laughs> It works kind of okay. <laughs> Dude's coming. Oh lord, he coming. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love how they just play his footsteps like no matter where you are. He comes, he, he's coming. There we go. And that should make the bell go. And then we can get to the thing. Instead of, you know, just reaching our hand through, <laughs> what we need to actually do is uh, that. Apparently, we need to alert everybody to where we are. Yeah. That's what needed to happen, obviously. Well, because we want to call that all works. the zombies to us. Yeah, instead you know? of reaching our hand through there, we want to make all of the noise. Now it's really quiet. Oh my god, it probably summoned a liquor. It's like, yeah, if you're really loud, then all these bad things will happen. Okay, let me just set the clock tower off. Examine it. Open it. Mm -hmm. It's a cube conductor. I'm just imagining some poor person who never examines any of the things that they pick up, and they're like... Hold on, I think we can unlock that door that was locked before by doing, yep. He's coming. Oh lord, he's coming. Oh, oh no. Yeah. <sighs> oh. Yeah. Oh. Fuck you. Oh my god. Goodbye. <laughs> well, she has been bitten by like at least, Blech. at least five zombies at this point. So. At, at least. Yeah. Find me now, asshole. Unless you they're gonna do a cutscene. They're gonna be like, "Oh yeah, you feel safe here? Just kidding. He's busting through the wall." Oh lord, he coming. Oh. <laughs> Bust through the wall. You like, huh, thought you were safe. There's like the Kool Aid Man. Oh no. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> What? What is this? Now we have to switch things around? Oh yeah, because we gotta get the... <sighs> Alright, so we gotta make this, everything... Okay, so the blue one's connecting to nothing, so... Do we switch them? Is that what we're doing? We're switching them? Hold on. No, that's not it. Oh, maybe. oh, rotate. Oh, okay. So rotate. Oh, okay. Here we go.
Hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was luck. Yeah. No, I'm a genius. <laughs> And then we get stuck in here. Oh, mysterious phone call. 